Hi guys, Vespa here. Uh, one of you requested that a uh, video um, to fix the NAT type on your PS3. This little guy here. It's PS3. If you didn't know, if you didn't know that, then go back into your rock. Okay, so yeah, do you, do you like my little lighting setup I got here and tripod and the, that's got a body in it, but ignore that. Um, okay, back to the lights. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, now, what uh, you said you were having problems with was which uh, what I had a problem with quite a while ago was that uh, my NAT type was strict and I couldn't join any of my friends in a party. Okay, so, um, once you're on, you want to get to your computer, okay, yeah, fine, change my colour scheme, yeah, okay, so, get to your computer, make sure your computer is, um, connected to your router, or the same router that your PS3 is connected to, it doesn't matter if it's wired or wireless, um, obviously make sure the router is connected to the internet, then, go to your start menu, and press computer, and on the side panel, on the side here, that's what it's called, the side panel, go into network, and then under other devices, I'm doing this for a BT Home Hub version 3 by the way, because that's what my um, my mate requested, so if you guys, um, basically what you can do is just get in, get to your um, your router's admin page, so just type whatever your router's name is into Google and admin page, you'll, you'll find out, I'm sure, Google's always your friend. So click BT Home Hub 3 Media Gateway and it should come up with this page so then go into settings and you probably won't get this page you'll probably get a page that says please enter your uh, admin password so for a BT Home Hub 3 you want to pull out the little thing at the top that's like a thing it's got stickers on it and it tells you the password and stuff um, and on the side you pull it out you see something called admin password you want to type that in and it will then prompt you like it will then say Enter your own, enter a new password. So enter your new password. I'll do that now. There you go. And then you want to go to advanced settings on the top right. And then it will prompt you if you're alright with that. And then continue to advanced settings. Go into your home network. And then you can see here I have PS3 connected. Now yours won't be um, listed like this. It won't be listed like PS3. It will be listed as. Um, like something like this zero zero colon one d colon zero d like that so what you want to do is disconnect your ps3 so turn it off or sign out and you'll see it will say something has been disconnected and that will also go, go through like a to a light to a gr lighter blue color almost a gray and you'll clearly see it's not connected it will even say unconnected like not connected so then what you do is you click here go on it it won't and then I'd rename it to PS3 or something you can remember. Right, once you've done that, um go into port forwarding at the top and supported oh you can actually do it here. See I've got it here. It's Xbox Live. The this is what you want. This is the preset for the BT Home Hub. Right. So so go uh, under gamer application, press X. It's just a shortcut. Um and then uh, it should be here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I think maybe because I've already used it. But yeah, basically, it will be here and it will say Xbox Live. Exactly like that. Like that. Like this. Um, and then under Device, you want to go down to PS3, or whatever you named it as, and press Add. Then make sure you click Apply. Now, if you don't have a BT Home Hub, you want to you know the ports. Um, you want to forward. So I'll show you the ports here. Um, so we'll go here and the, uh, so let's see if I can find it. Xbox Live, here we go. Uh, these are the ports you want to forward. Right. Um, now I'm not too sure on other routers because obviously there's so many of them. So I'm probably going to say it's port forwarding is probably going to be under something like um, gaming or something like that. Uh, yeah, um, basically, these this is what you want to port forward. So your protocol and just your range and translate it to. This is these are normally exactly the same. Um, so yeah, just you could if yours doesn't have like a translate to box, just type in eighty eight. It might not even have another box there. It might just have one port. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Oh, also. Um, 
once you've done this, you want to turn off your PlayStation, turn it back on again, and go into settings, scroll all the way down to network settings, and reconnect your network again. Yeah, uh, it's a bit of a pain, but hopefully it works. If it doesn't, leave a comment, and I'll try and get back to you and see if we can sort this out. Alternatively, if that doesn't work, you can do uh, a DMZ, which is very risky, as it says here. Basically, what it does is it opens every single port your router has, so you'll be sure to get um, open that. But um, it's very, very dangerous because if someone puts a virus in, it's, there's no firewall anymore; it will just go straight through. So it's own, you know, just port forward the ones you need for the like the systems you need, but just port forwarding should be fine. So, yeah, hope that helps you guys. And my PS3 controller almost fell off my desk there. Okay, thanks, um, thanks for watching, and bye.